When she was first born, we were in the hospital for three weeks in the intensive care unit. Then they let us out for a week. But then the baby had to be hospitalized again. My husband has been there with her for the last four nights in a row. He can't do it anymore because it means you don't sleep at all. So I'm switching him out tonight. Joelle's daughter, Avigail, isn't even eight weeks old, but she's already gone through multiple procedures because she was born with a rare genetic kidney disease. This is Professor Benjamin Dekel. He's the director of the Division of Pediatric Nephrology at Sheba Medical Center in central Israel. And he's just made a world-first breakthrough to tackle kidney disease that will hopefully change little Avigal's life for the better. These are uh, the creatures. They can last for uh, over half a year in the lab. And that's it's an imitation of what happens in pregnancy and, and real life. Professor Dekel and his team have figured out how to grow actual kidney organoids in the lab. They're essentially mini kidneys that can be used to test new drugs, to watch how diseases develop, and eventually to grow kidney tissue that could one day be implanted to repair damaged kidneys. And perhaps best of all, they've proven to live for more than six months in the lab. Up till now, most organoids were only for a short time, let's say a month. Right. So you'd study disease over a month, but we know that disease develop over many months. This is something that is very, very in line with what, what happens in, in our bodies. This means that with this breakthrough, doctors can take the stem cells of any patient and grow their very own mini kidney, which can be used to study the progression of whatever kidney disease they're combating, to try to figure out the best intervention for their specific case. It also means that no invasive procedure is needed. And that's a big deal, especially for a little baby like Avigail. We need uh, Avigail's uh, urine, because we can take the urine and we can grow the mini kidney from the urine and we can test mm -hmm. some drugs on the organoid. We want to help her, so we want to think out of the box. We can study her kidney without doing any any experiments on her, just on the, her cells, and she gave urine, so what's the big deal, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can help her with the disease progression. We don't want her to develop chronic kidney disease. More than 850 million people across the world suffer from kidney disease. An expert warn it could become the fifth leading cause of death by 2040. It's a world epidemic. About, I would say, 10% of world population suffer from some degree of kidney dysfunction. Sometimes kidney disease can start with having blood in your urine, with a measurement of blood pressure that is high. But most of the cases, as you said, go unnoticed to stages that are dangerous. It's a disease that we don't have good solutions for. And you see these patients uh, entering terminal stages. I call this the kidney repair shop. In this very lab, Professor Dekel and his team are already doing groundbreaking research on the mini kidneys that they grow here. But the long-term goal is to one day be able to implant healthy lab-grown kidneys and tissues into sick patients. For families like Joel's, this work offers hope of new treatments, new transplants, and a future where kidney disease doesn't mean a lifetime of waiting. As a mother, it's not easy to know your daughter has a genetic disease, but I know I'm in the best hands possible. I feel so much more secure knowing we have access to this technology, because like you said, 10 years ago, who knows what would have happened?